Hey, what's going on? My name's Jerry Ozier, and I've worked in the cybersecurity industry for nearly 20 years, and I freaking love it. Are you ready to join one of the most exciting and in-demand fields of our generation? If so, sit back and relax, because in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to go over the top 10 reasons why a career in cybersecurity is right for you. Cybersecurity is in hot demand. The need for skilled cybersecurity professionals is due to the increasing threat of cyber attacks on everything from supply chain, banks, energy providers, basic utilities, even our K through 12 schools are getting hosed. And the need is only expected to grow in the coming years. Some news outlets are saying that there is a talent shortage. According to Cybersecurity Dive, there are roughly 4.7 million jobs in cybersecurity worldwide. Wide. However, there's still a need for 3.4 million cybersecurity professionals. To expand on that, in the US right now, there are 1.8 million cybersecurity jobs. And as of today, February 24th, 2023, over 750,000 cybersecurity job openings are unfilled. One last thing before the next reason the worldwide cybersecurity industry is forecasted to reach. <laughs> $297 billion in 2026. That is an unbelievable amount of money pumping into the industry. I'm telling you, it is in demand. Number two on our list, job security. Y you know what? Before we get into that one, let's do a quick exercise. I want you to take a moment and think of everything you have in your house that is connected to the internet. Every single item that you have, whether it's the ring camera, smart TV, gaming system, printer, smart device, even a smart refrigerator or freaking toaster, everything connects to the internet it is a potential attack surface for a cyber criminal. With new technology coming out every day, so does the race to exploit it. Often businesses will push everything to market as quickly as possible, leaving countless holes in their security for attackers to take advantage of, right? As a future cybersecurity practitioner, this is where you come in. There will always be a need to secure our ever evolving cybersecurity landscape. And there are such a need for people to do it and lean into it that the job security is going to be there. If you're doing good work in InfoSec, you're gonna be continuing to do good work in InfoSec. It's not going anywhere. Number three reason why you'd wanna work in this industry, great pay. That brings up the most important reason. How much do you get paid, right? Cybersecurity professionals are among the highest paid in the tech industry with salaries often surpassing $100,000 per year. Like I covered in the Do Entry Cybersecurity Jobs Exist video with actionable intel that you could get in there, most entry level cybersecurity jobs pay between $70,000 and $110,000 a year. Now this largely depends on the area you live in and the sector you choose to work in. So it's not equal and equitable across the whole board, but you know, just be mindful of that. I can tell you firsthand that a hospital will pay you significantly more than the education sector. Some of the highest paid individuals in cybersecurity are chief information security officers, sometimes called CISOs, right? They average between $185,000 and $290,000 per year, depending on the size of the org and industry again. But I've been a CISO, and that is a whole other topic that is way too long for this video, especially if you're just looking to say, like, is this the right field for me? CISO, you get later on down the road, so don't sweat that. Number four leads me to how exciting the work is. Cybersecurity professionals work on a variety of challenging and interesting projects from protecting against viruses and malware to developing new security technologies. You are constantly learning in this rapidly changing field, whether you're learning about a new CVE, which stands for common vulnerabilities and exposures, or researching a new alert on your system. There is no shortage of new and exciting knowledge waiting to be discovered. I personally love this field for this reason alone. I've been in it for 20 years and there's still a ton that I don't know about and things are constantly changing. So there is always an opportunity to learn more, to go deeper, to go wide or deep on any particular topic. It's absolutely the best. Number five reason why you'd wanna get into this field, opportunities for advancement. There are many opportunities for advancement in cybersecurity with a wide range of job titles and responsibilities. There are career paths, right, from technical roles such as pen testing, SOC analyst, incident response, GRC, security engineering, management roles such as chief information security officer, sales engineer, and so many others. The opportunities for advancement are nearly endless. And, spoiler alert, bonus tip, 
a lot of these roles can matrix into each other. So if you go SOC analyst, you can become a pen tester or a pen tester SOC analyst or GRC or into SOC. You can go all over the place. It's not siloed. The best part about being in cybersecurity is that once you're in cybersecurity, it is so easy to pivot from one role to another like I just laid out. If you want to challenge yourself, nothing is stopping you from advancing your career. This is a fact in the industry. There's no easy button, but there's also plenty of opportunity and plenty of resources for you to dive into and apply yourself. Speak to your company about education. They likely have a budget to pay for you to get additional education, go to conferences, do webinars, get certified, etc. All you got to do is ask, right? There are techniques for asking executives how to pay for certain education, training, resources, conferences. If your company doesn't have a policy for it, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a video. Number six reason, cutting edge technology, okay? Cybersecurity professionals work with the latest technology often and are at the forefront of innovation in the industry. Tools for penetration testing, packet sniffers, encryption, scanning for web vulns, network defenses, network security monitoring, they're all essential to the future of any cybersecurity organization at a business, right? The tools you get to learn and play with are nearly endless, but they are essential to any cybersecurity department. I am saying that number reason six is cutting edge technology, but let me be fair. You will have to deal with a lot of old tech. There's a lot of old, ridiculous, legacy, crappy technology that is part of your infrastructure that you're gonna have to deal with. So don't think that Windows XP is something that you read about in a history book because there's probably driving some type of manufacturing equipment at the business that you're gonna go secure. So just be mindful, cutting edge, sharks with freaking lasers, but also Windows XP and you know access databases. Number seven, make a difference. You can literally make a major impact in this field. A career in cybersecurity allows you to make real impact by protecting individuals, organizations, and society against cyber threats. Take a moment and think about your friends and your family. I'm sure at least one of them has had their social media hacked, had their identity stolen, found a virus on their computer, had their credit card information stolen? How often have you heard about someone's Facebook account being hacked and then they had to jump through hoops just to get it back or they get locked out of their account or they get a spam phishing email that says they need to call an 800 number? My Aunt Dorothea has fallen for this. It sucks. Think about it at an organization level. If the main server goes down, do they have a business continuity plan? How will the company continue to make money if it can't accept payments, if it can't make product? How would they recover? What is the incident response post-incident, after it's done, after you got everything back up, how do you recover? Do you even know which application to restore first? It could be a chain event and you can't just spin them all up at once, right? Do they even have backups? These are the questions that you can ask and help provide your organization with solutions. It's about thinking through the entire process, right? You can make an impact. I love this part of cybersecurity. Number eight, this one can be a key differentiator on whether this is for you or not. I'm gonna be honest, this one does drive some people away. Constant learning. Cybersecurity is constantly evolving. This means that there are new technologies and new threats to learn about almost daily. New things come out all the time, meaning as a cyber practitioner, you need to keep up to date on what is currently happening. Now, easiest way to do that is to attend Simply Cyber, my daily cyber threat briefing that I do every single weekday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time, where I go over all the news stories that you need to know about while giving you my opinion and expert analysis on each of those stories. In my 20 years in this industry, I still find captivating news stories that constantly change the landscape of the industry. You see a lot of the same design patterns on the way that fraud is perpetrated and threat actors attack, but the techniques, they get manipulated, they get changed. And with the advent of ChatGPT and all this AI technology, shall we play a game? My God, the game is just getting really crazy interesting. So you need to stay constantly up to date or you're gonna be left behind. And I didn't even mention like cloud infrastructure, the, like the, the way that technology even develops gets changed and if you're going to secure technology that's changing you need to stay abreast of how that technology is changing so you can understand how it could be exploited or manipulated and then ultimately you secure it right there are always new strategies for overcoming the latest challenges of today threat actors are very good at adapting number nine flexibility 
Cybersecurity professionals can work in a various kind of settings, including corporations, government agencies, consulting firms, professional services, and most importantly, remote work. There is a large sector of employers offering hybrid and full remote positions. Guess what, guys? Post-pandemic, we figured out that being a nerd in the back room is the same as being a nerd at your house. It still works. Who wouldn't want to work from home? I personally have worked remotely since 2020, and I am never going back to the office. It is becoming so commonplace to see fully remote jobs be offered for all types of schedule, whether it's your traditional eight-hour overnight shift working at a sock, maybe it's a four-day work week where you're doing 10 hours a day, Maybe it's just a simple nine to five Monday through Friday, you know, corporate gig, no big deal. There are tons of shifts that are flexible to your unique wants and needs. There's always a need for someone to defend. And if you're willing to do the work, most importantly, most companies are willing to help you with that. Lastly, there are global opportunities. The final thing I'll say about remote work if you are able to deliver on the outcomes that they're looking for, they don't care if you're remote or local. Secondly, as I mentioned at the beginning, there are a ton of freaking open jobs and not enough people to fill them. So if grease in the skids is by making the job remote, which opens it to a larger population of possible candidates, then yeah, let's go remote. That's why it's going to be remote and continue to do that. Number 10, global opportunities. Keep in mind that cybersecurity is a global field that isn't just limited to where you are physically. There are opportunities available worldwide. This is one of the major industries that can scale across the globe because all businesses need security. I've heard of people in my community living in Europe and working at a major US company. It's not uncommon. It doesn't matter what country you are in. Now, there can be challenges around HR, whether you have you know, permission to work for that company or maybe the company deals with the US Department of Defense and they can't have international folks. But by and large, commercial sector companies, they don't care where you work. In fact, sometimes you can you know, follow the sun model, right? It doesn't matter. There is a need for all local and international businesses also to have some sort of plan in place to defend themselves against bad actors all over the world. So it's a global landscape and cyber is applicable in all these. Now, if you made it this far to the video, congratulations, thanks for being here. I wanna reward you with an 11th bonus tip. Don't tell anyone there's 11, let them get here themselves. I wanna point out that this is a very rewarding career. The career path can be extremely rewarding personally and professionally with the opportunity to make a real difference in the world. I personally have helped businesses, helped individuals. I've helped people get into the industry. I am constantly challenged. I'm constantly engaged. The industry pays well. I've been able to provide for my family. I've been able to be mentally stimulated. I'm never bored at work. Yes, sometimes there's some like blocking and tackling and dealing with Carl. Carl! But at the end of the day, on balance, it is so freaking awesome. This is why I do Simply Cyber because I want you to experience all of this because it is awesome. I've been able to spend more time with my family, right? I, I work from home. My commute is five seconds. I go downstairs, boom, I'm with my kids talking about how the day was. If something crops up over the weekend, I don't like to work weekends, but guess what? Threat actors don't give a <laughs> whether or not it's the weekend or not. So if something cro crops up, boom, I can jump on it right there and then I'm back to my family. Also, the financial freedom uh, can lead to what I would consider stability, peace of mind. I, I don't worry about um, financials. I mean, I, I do live a pretty conservative lifestyle, but I'm not worried about making rent. You know what I mean? So I, I, I there's a peace of mind. There's a mental health that goes with that. And it's just absolutely awesome, which is another reason why I want everybody to jive on this. So if you're considering exploring the exciting field of cybersecurity, which I hope I've made a compelling argument for, the high demand, the good pay, the opportunities to make a difference, it could be perfect fit for you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about cybersecurity careers, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Check out the other videos on the channel and join the Simply Cyber Discord server where there are thousands of individuals looking to break into the industry or already industry, all helping each other be better, be supported, and just doing all the good things. This is Gerald Lozier with Simply Cyber reminding you to stay secure.